All right, we got one more thing to talk about, and that is implication and equivalence. And it's going to kind of go the same way that the last video did. So suppose that we had two statements, P and Q. We get to form a new statement, which is P implies Q. So we read that P implies Q. We also read that sometimes as if P then Q. If P then Q. All right, so let's describe what this means. And you probably already have a pretty good idea of what it means. It's saying that if P is true, then Q has to be true. So let's define that in terms of a truth table. So here is P implies Q. So P has two possible values, true and false. And Q has two possible values, which are true and false. So we're saying that if P is true, this forces Q to be true, that it's impossible for Q to be false when P is true. So in other words, that the only time this statement is false is if Q is false and P is true. So if P is true and Q is false, it's false. And in other, all other circumstances, it's true. So the only time that this is false is when you have the premise, this is sometimes called the premise, and this is sometimes called the conclusion. The only time this is false is if your premise is true and your conclusion is false. That's the only time. And you'll notice there's kind of an odd kind of idiosyncrasy about this is that if P is false, if P is false, then it's true no matter what. So essentially, sometimes there's a joke in that uh, anything with a false premise is true. So if you ever hear a politician say, well, if we'd only done this, then everything they say after that is tr has to be true vacuously, so it's not even worth talking about. Anyway, so that's implication. The, uh, the other thing is equivalence. And this is just kind of a, uh, is built off of implication. So equivalence is, uh, change color here. Okay, so equivalence is the statement P and this symbol Q and we tend to write that P if and only if if and only if Q or sometimes P is equivalent to Q is equivalent to Q alright so all this means is that P implies Q and Q implies P in other words, P and Q always have the same truth value. If P then Q and if Q then P. These always have the same truth value. Either they're both always true or they're both always false. And you know, exercise when you draw the truth table for that. And that shouldn't be too difficult. And that's uh, implication and equivalence.